Hey guys, what's up? Big Tech here. Today I'm making a video about discussing about my thoughts on using a Mac for a week. And yeah, so I've been using for a week. It is an up to date computer that can kind of not really, but go ahead. it's a bit better than my other than my Windows laptop. Um, oh, no, no, no. I was thinking my old one. Um, it's, it's about the same as my current Windows laptop, except my current one has 6 gigs of RAM and 1.7 gigahertz i5. i5. And also has a SSD is the main drive. <laughs> but anyway. <clears throat> and also has Windows 8, which I don't like. But I prefer my old Windows 7. But anyway, um, here are the ups and downs about using the Mac for a week. So so far everything seems good the video editing is very fast on it um, you can see I've installed quite a bit of applications and stuff and also it, it can run a couple games but not really here I'll just show you my the ones that it can run so this well it doesn't take much to run this portal and team fortress of course these two are like they're not very many good games for Mac but yeah, so, anyway, um, a little tour of my dog, actually I can do that in another video, but anyway, let's just talk about it, I am light, not, very happy to use these two apps on Mac still, it is Chrome and uTorrent, because I use those on PC all the time, and I've downloaded quite a few things with uTorrent so far, I'll just show you them, and we also have like, my regular Word and PowerPoint, <clears throat> that's just for like my live commentaries on my gaming channel the audio thing I have Final Cut and I use this for video editing the video pad Photoshop I'm used to YouTube downloader I'm used to Debut I'm used to Steam Skype I use on a like hourly basis so here's all the things I've downloaded I've downloaded quite a bit of stuff so far and um, a couple movies, a lot of seasons of The Simpsons and stuff. Um, Microsoft Office, Final Cut, After Effects, which I've not installed yet. I keep forgetting, and Photoshop. So, Command Q is to quit things on a Mac. I have updated it to Mavericks. If you couldn't tell already, I did that today, and just so that I could actually install a couple things from the app store. I don't have any thoughts on Mavericks yet or anything. Yeah, I've updated a couple things. Yeah, I can see it's the Mavericks. I don't know if it gave me new wallpapers. Let's see. <clears throat> um, it renders like 720p videos and everything very fast. I think there might be a couple new wallpapers. I'm not that sure though. Yes, it's definitely new. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I prefer Blue Pond. Where's Blue Pond? Because it's winter here in Canada and it just really fits. Um, unedited is just a folder of videos that I need to edit together. Most of them are gaming channel things. Like, all these, like, 11 one is, like, stuff that I've recorded for my gaming channel. And all these untitled WMA, Windows Media Files. Those are all live commentaries that I've done for my gaming channel, which is Modern Gamer Life. Check that out if you want to. See some nice little called content. I like watching David Franco. He's an awesome Mac person when you're getting used to the Mac and stuff. Like, I stumbled upon him, what, I was watching an iMac. I was looking for iBook G3 videos. And I found an iMac G3. And I was, I was pretty, I was like 12 years old at the time <clears throat> when I had my iBook G3. And I just did not have a pleasant experience with that Mac, so I just tended not to like Macs very much. And like, look at the battery life on this thing. Like 90%, 5 hours, that's pretty good. So, but, anyways, an iBook G3 that has a 20 gig hard drive is not a good thing, good first Mac to start with. Control Shift C, you'll see, whoa, 122 gigabytes, what's with that? Is that how much I've... Oh, that's how much I've used. Okay. Yeah. So, let's see. Mm -hmm. I created the hard drive November 1st. Anyway. 
<clears throat> I just kind of wanted to make a video about this. The only thing I don't like so far is that I cannot use the, the old versions of VideoPad, which are much easier to use and are much better for for editing, in my opinion. Versions like like the VideoPad version that I like to use for Windows 7 is 2.41, I believe. 2.40 will work too, but 2.41 is just the best. Like doing face cams, editing in face cams are very easy. I made a video of that. It's on my gaming channel. I think it might be on my main channel too. I'm not that sure. I'm forced to use the old YouTube because the new Google Plus thing is absolutely horrible. But yeah, you guys have helped me out quite a bit and stuff. But let's just go to here. Oh, why is that updated? Did I accidentally upload that? Update that to Google Plus. That sucks. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I might have done the face cam. Face cam. Hard to type with one hand. Yeah, I did do it on here too, so. There we go. <laughs> so, anyway. Yeah, that's good enough. Um, a lot of my things work on, on here very well. Uh, it runs 4K, which I'd expect a Core i5 to run 4K. Um, really everything is just not a problem on here, no lag at all. You know, the mic, which is right here, actually let's just get it focused in. Focus is fairly well on screens, that's why I'm letting it focus on screen. Generally when there's white it shouldn't be this complicated, but it is. See, I told you. And there you can see, actually it focused right after I showed it. That is an awesome focus that it has right now. Anyways, right there is the microphone. And it is very good. And also I love, oh my god, I'm actually very impressed with my camera that it focuses. That it's focusing so well right now. You guys might be like, oh, it's, a camera should focus that well. Well, not when you're using a digital camera. So, that cool, Nikon Coolpix S8200 is what I'm using, so. Keyboard lighting up is a very good feature. I generally don't use the full lighting up. I sometimes use a 1 if it's really dark, but generally I use like that much. And for brightness, don't use full because it's very bright. Use about that much. But I turned it up a bit because I'm recording. But <clears throat> Yeah, so haven't tried out. These are the apps that I have that I have not tried out. I have not tried out iMovie yet or GarageBand because I just downloaded those just a couple hours ago. So. Yeah, um, editing's good. The only thing is that for some reason when using VideoPad, whenever I press the delete key to delete something, like when I press L to cut the clip in half, I want to delete a part out, I actually have to right click by going like this, clicking with two fingers, and um, actually I have to right click and select remove clip instead of the delete. <clears throat> I, I don't know why that doesn't work, but whatever. Anyway. Um, also, the resolution is good. I'm used to 1280 by 800 or 12. <laughs> I don't remember what the resolution of this is. I'm pretty sure it's 1280 by 800 or 12. Very curious. 1280 by 800, just as I thought. Yeah, my Steam has its notifications as usual. So. Very impressed. Um, I know this is like a different like side note, but it actually the subwoofer in it actually does have some pretty good kick for a laptop. Like I was very surprised with the amount of bass it has when cranked up. But yeah, so pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.